Welcome back to Craft Genius. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some tips and tricks to improve your calligraphy and hand lettering skills. To, to start off, I'd like to share with you guys that it doesn't really matter what writing tool you have if you're using a marker, a pencil, or a pen. It really won't affect your writing, although some people think it will. Because in my technique, honestly, it just takes a lot of time, but your writing tool won't really help make your work better. Oh, hello there. To start, we are going. I'm going to tell you guys that the one thing that will improve your calligraphy greatly is cursive. So before I start my calligraphy, I just practice the letters I'm going to be doing in cursive first. Calligraphy uses a lot of curves and loops, so I start with a lot of L's and H's. From that, you can actually get to the calligraphy part. What I do first is I write it out in, in cursive, like I showed you. So, like that. And then I go to all my downstrokes. So, when I'm, I just go over it without touching it. And then whenever I make a downstroke, I make it just a little bit thicker. And then I do that on all of my downstrokes. Like that. Now that that's done, you can just leave those downstrokes empty. You can fill them with lines, polka dots, or just fill them in. Just do whatever feels right to you. So I went in ahead and did a different technique, which is stripes. But I just wanted to say one thing you should avoid. You should always try to make your loops right here the same size or big. So here I made it my loop really small and it didn't look too good. Oh, my light bulb just started working. So if your loops are small or different sizes, they'll turn out something like this. So over here, I made it too big, way too big. And over here, I made it too small. So a common mistake people make is that just, just write freely and quickly and just do whatever feels right. But that's really not the case in my opinion. In my opinion, you should take your time and try your hardest to make it perfect. And I know that's not something people say very often, but it's led me to success. So instead of just going boop, I find it best to go really slowly and neatly and take your time for the best product. So now I'm going to be showing you guys the different... Why do you keep coming back? Just stay over there, please. Again. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you guys what calligraphy looks like with three different writing tools. A pen, a pencil, and a flare pen, which is like a felt tip marker. As you can see, there isn't really that much of a difference of how well the calligraphy turned out. But on these two, especially this one, I made my loops a little bit too small. But that's why pencil sometimes is the best option because you can just go and retrace. But as always, you can just start with pencil and then you should have a writing tool technique. And in case you couldn't notice, this one's pencil, this is pen, and this one's mark. Oopsies. Hang on, what did I push? Oh my god. Oh, I didn't push anything. That's not that convenient. Okay. So, after that super long, awkward timestamp, I'm going to be showing you some examples of calligraphy. Obviously, I haven't done this. This is just a card I got recently for my birthday. But, so, as you can see... How do I show this to you guys? Oh my god. Okay, so, as you can see, they didn't do cursive here, but it still turned out really nice. My personal calligraphy style is just to use cursive. That you don't always have to do. 
another example of a time they didn't do calligraphy. They didn't do, well, this is calligraphy, but they didn't do cursive, but they just made their letters super tall. Example of calligraphy, I didn't really use any special techniques. I just remembered to use a lot of curves and turns, and it turned out really great in my opinion. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I, I hope you learned a thing or two, and be sure to come back next week because I make new videos every Sunday. Bye for now!